ask how people will mark the anniversary now and in the future. Armistice Centenary, this weekend on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News. I'm Rebecca Jones. The headlines at eight. Donald Trump claims tremendous success after mixed election results for his Republican Party. He offered an olive branch saying he'd work with Democrats, but then hit out at foes in the media. CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. Changes already at the White House. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is fired after months of criticism from President Trump. The Democrats celebrate taking back control of the House of Representatives, which will allow them to block the president's legislative program. Here, a 98-year-old man is attacked by burglars in his home in London in what police describe as a brutal and senseless assault. So I'd rather not talk about that. It's been well covered, actually. Too much talk about his £75 million bonus ends with the boss of house builder Persimmon agreeing to leave, though he will keep the money. And illegal cannabis clubs that are springing up across the UK prompt calls for police to take tougher action. A very good evening and welcome. President Trump has declared that his Republican Party defied history in yesterday's midterm elections, widely viewed as a referendum on his first two years in the White House. The elections were for Congress, America's lawmaking body, which is made up of two chambers, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Democrats are celebrating regaining the House of Representatives for the first time in eight years, winning 220 of the 435 seats, which they say will mean more checks and balances on the Trump presidency. But the Republicans were able to increase their control of the Senate, the other chamber, making key gains in Indiana, Missouri and North Dakota. Also, in the past few moments, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, has been fired by President Trump. We'll get more on that in a moment with our correspondent, Barbara Plett Usher, who's at the White House. But what will the results in the midterm elections mean for Donald Trump and the next two years of his presidency? Our North America editor, John Sopel, examines the results. I've been saying since...